Hi, and welcome to the weekly predictions based on astrology for the week of August 23rd, 2021. In terms of the stock market direction, I think this week is going to see Monday and Tuesday market going down, and then Wednesday through Friday, I think the market is going to go up. Uh, then the following week, I think we may see a really uh, large drop, and in fact, as early as this Sunday, the 29th, there may be some significant events that perhaps will uh, uh, dampen the market uh, the following week, the week of August 30th. So let's go over uh, the important influences that are significant for each day of the week. Uh, for Monday, there may be some uh, focus on long-term um, investments, and especially in the areas like IT, aerospace, airlines, and uh, even robotics, high-tech, anything of that nature. And again, the focus may be not so much on getting quickly uh, uh, rich or uh, you know selling and buying something, but rather getting into something that will be profitable long, long term and uh, may in involve use of some high-tech technology, high-tech <laughs> uh, tools uh, or solutions. So maybe something to do with robotics, maybe drones. Um, and also it may have to do with the use of either sound waves, acoustics, um, audio signals, etc. Uh, then on the 23rd through the 24th, uh, there may be focus on things related to healthcare, pharmaceuticals, uh, chemicals, oil, uh, also excessive precipitation, or, uh, and or some either deceptive practices, confusing activities, especially anything related to communication, transportation, or education. Uh, so basically, it may be difficult to reach an agreement or difficult to arrange a uh, proper, I guess, uh, solution for related to communication, transportation, and education because there may be just either, again, bad weather preventing things from basically going through or perhaps there is miscommunication or intentional deception and therefore again agreement may not be reached because some details are just um, not accurate or missing. Uh, for the US, the 20th or 23rd may see focus on anything to do with financial system, banks, earnings, <clears throat> and there there may be some concerns about either reduced sales, reduced earnings, financial losses, or accounting errors, or deceptive financial practices and or there may be some changes, maybe some new project is implemented, but there may be concerns that it may lead to uh, instability again for, say, a bank. Uh, also, for the 20th or the 23rd for the U.S., uh, there may be some focus on uh, oil, gas. Again, those are the areas that might be prominent globally, 23rd or the 24th as well, but for the U.S. especially, uh, 20th or the 23rd, which I guess would cover Monday, of this week, there may be specifically focus on Neptunian areas, again, pharmaceuticals, oil, gas, excessive precipitation, uh, water erosion, but also beverages, religion, drugs, movies, uh, things of that nature. And uh, for those areas, there may be, again, either some confusion or something not going quite right, uh, perhaps, again, bad weather. Of course, there were some floods, uh, flash floods in Tennessee uh, on Monday. Um, but again, it, it's more than that, it's just, again, um, some concerns about, again, some chemicals or some pharmaceuticals uh, and or, um, again, concerns perhaps that some data are not quite accurate or, or there is an accounting error or there is pollution. Um, and that's basically a part of some ongoing transit that U.S. is experiencing, but it may just be intensifying on the 20th or 23rd of August. Uh, then, like I said, um, Tuesday looks like a down day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday look like up days for the stock market, and towards the end of the week uh, there may be uh, more sort of a higher probability of more important developments both for the US and internationally, and especially into the next week which looks somewhat tense. Uh, so for the US 26th through the 27th, which would be Thursday and Friday, there may be increased focus on U.S. either leadership of the U.S., leaders, uh, including individuals, but also um, large corporations, any sort of governmental entities, and also on the status of U.S. as a country in the world arena. And specifically, there might be focus on areas of communication, transportation, so maybe 
communication transportation of the leaders or communication transportation companies and there might be increased negotiations and there might be just uh, increased just again number of partners increased number of topics increased number of locations uh, increased number of companies participating uh, at the same time uh, there may be um, yeah, and some agreements indeed may be reached at this time. In fact, there may be more agreements or sales kind of news uh, about maybe acquisition, sale, etc. Or maybe a, a transportation company opening more locations, a retail uh, company opening more locations. So there might be a lot of kind of this uh, sort of news uh, Thursday, Friday for the US. At the same time, there may be some concerns about um, either services or uh, products from these areas being either overpriced or too expensive or perhaps con concerns about inflation or maybe some stock may be seen as overpriced or the profits uh, from these areas communication transportation uh, may be seen as lower um, than expected uh, as i mentioned towards the end of the week especially around the 29th globally we may see some important developments and those will continue into the next week, uh, early uh, September. So the uh, 29th uh, events may have to do with um, some issue being clarified or some prom prominent leader, prominent person being featured in the news and the person uh, themselves may be like a politician or an actor, some sort of medical doctor, clergy, or somebody who is very much into like detailed, um, I guess, uh, analysis, so maybe like a scientist or accountant and or a pharmacist, somebody who basically needs to pay uh, close attention to details due to their job. And either that person, the news about that person may have to do with healthcare or some services for like, say, um, people who are in need, um, maybe they're in a hospital or something like that and or it could be uh, related to health of that particular individual and so whatever the announcement may be there may be a divided opinion on that so I, if it's a new project you know half people may be approved half may be feeling uh, disappointed by that or if indeed it may have to do with this person's uh, health there may again be uh, you know jubilation on half you know whatever the country may be jubilating and or not the country but in general I guess this is a global prediction and uh, another, you know, half of people may be, uh, again, sad over that. So then, as I mentioned, 29th through pretty much uh, September 3rd will be a time that may see an important um, set of developments and, again, increased probability of various problems related to basically Neptunian areas. So it could be excessive precipitation leading to floods, leading to water pollution or water contamination, uh, increased focus on chemicals, pharmaceuticals, but again with focus on there being some problems, uh, maybe again some spill somewhere, or uh, previously what uh, we had under similar transits is maybe like uh, attacks or something in prisons, uh, because again prisons have to do with again the Neptunian area, uh, anything that's like remote, isolated, so it could be a prison, hospital, uh, facility where they're elderly, facility in like even a monastery or some isolated place and there there may be some turbulence or it could be a medical laboratory and there may be also uh, some either attack or protest around uh, that, um, that particular facility and or the person or persons who are engaged in some violent activities or some disruptive activities themselves may be nurses like a representative of the Navy um, or perhaps they have uh, some mental issues or they're under the influence of some chemical or some drug. Uh, and generally there again may be increased probability of there being just some maritime accidents, problems with navy, problems with you know water, again lack of clear water, lack of um, you know like I said soil erosion due to again excessive precipitation, so things of that nature and at the same time there may be some uh, strong sort of fluctuations in the value of specifically oil and gas and I guess uh, chemicals especially chemicals that are related to oil and uh, those may actually I think go down in price either way there may be some major reversal in that area I think it will likely be that oil may go down in price and also generally it will uh, next week again starting with some events 
that may start on the Sunday of this week, uh, but next week may see uh, either the entire week, maybe a week down, or there might be some major drop, uh, most likely around September 3rd. Also sometime this week, but really the entire August through approximately the end of February of next year, for the US, um, this is a period where it may experience this ongoing background influence, like slowly unfolding, unfolding transit of Neptune that basically, unfortunately, is forming difficult transit to US, uh, also Neptune and Mars, and those areas typically are related to things like confusion, again, uh, lack of being able to see clearly, uh, miscommunication, and uh, Mars has to do with things like uh, military, weapons, sports, competitions, activities that are risky or dangerous, etc. So basically, um, the situation may be involving either the enemy or dealing with enemy that somehow is uses chemicals or bioweapons or uses confusion or spying and hacking techniques, something where you don't see where the actual threat is coming from, or uh, if there are some military or weapons related, say, deals, there may be some confusion or some, again, omitted information, and it may be just, again, by accident, but it's just kind of hard to reach clear kind of a uh, conclusion, clear agreement at this particular time. And also there's increased probability of like maritime kind of Navy related accidents, again, due to either miscommunication or bad weather that involves like fog, um, you know, excessive precipitation, strong waves, basically your visibility is obscured or something is not functioning as it should, like some sort of instrument. And therefore, uh, you know, you can't find your way uh, through, I'd say, I don't know, some sort of a uh, tunnel, not tunnel, but path, uh, channel, I guess, in the ocean. Uh, let's see. And so in terms of the glance ahead just for the next, uh, the, the rest of the year, I guess the two months that come to mind to highlight would be September and then uh, December. For September, I took a uh, very preliminary look, and it does look like most of the days in September may be down, but the two particular uh, time periods that may be somewhat more difficult in September is, like I said, the very early September, especially 1st through the 3rd, and then the 20th. Uh, but in general, I think 1st and 3rd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd may be down days. Um, then I think on the 6th, uh, I think Monday, uh, the 6th may actually be day when things will reverse to up, but then it will f be followed by down on 7th and 8th of September, up on 9th and 10th of September, 13th through 15th look a little bit mixed, uh, there are two, both positive and negative influences at the same time, 16th through 23rd look down to me, 24th through 27th look up, and then again 28th through 30th look down to me. That's just a preliminary assessment for September, but again the key dates 1st through the 3rd of September, and then the 20th, which those dates look uh, difficult and as down days for the market. In terms of uh, December, both globally and for the US, those seem to be significant dates. There may be, I think, uh, some important information may come up about US financial policies or earnings or some fiscal decisions. And at the same time, around the 15th, there may be, I think, a peak for uh, uh, for the year for the uh, gold and silver uh, price, uh, which I think will be a overall top for the year. And after that, I think uh, sol silver and gold after the 15th of December, approximately plus minus a day or two may start going down. Um, and then also the 15th itself, again, plus minus a couple of days, is actually a difficult time globally where there may be increased probability of various um, either accidents or disasters, a large quake, some sort of, uh, again, we had like maybe it could be specifically difficult for uh, Haiti, for example, or Turkey, uh, or uh, it basically, um, again, that could be again, some sort of disaster. It could be also escalation of protests, escalation of some uh, military tensions, uh, or even a plane crash, and that's around the 15th of December. So again, this date seems to be important both globally and for the U.S. With the U.S., it may be focused on USD uh, value, uh, also associated with that gold and silver fluctuation, but also again, globally, it's just a tense time where maybe not the best time for traveling or holding important events 
you know, like some wedding celebrations, perhaps not the most auspicious time for that. And then I quickly looked uh, for the US specifically at the longer term perspective just to see when those uh, two kind of difficult ongoing trends that we're experiencing already that may have started more or less this year but will continue for some time which are uh, the Pluto return which also happens to be uh, giving basically a difficult um, aspect to the US Mercury at the same time and also the transit of Neptune which currently is like I said uh, making a difficult transit to US, Neptune and um, Mars, but also Neptune will soon be getting into the US uh, 4000 US chart, with, which has to do with like Homeland Security, but also banks, um, uh, farming, uh, food um, manufacturing, etc. And so those two transits will be unfolding at the same time and more or less they're starting already this year and will be intensifying again starting right about this weekend especially next week but then they will actually continue more or less through early 2024 so let's say through february of 2024 and there are some times where things may get particularly i guess more difficult and so difficulties may include things like um, just confusing activities related to again either military or sports or leadership, also stock market, anything that's like gambling, risky, dangerous activities, those may just not quite go as well. And you know, the gambling may not pay off. Um, and um, again, there may be some confusion about specifically um, homeland security or farming, real estate, um, banks and their assets, but also specifically just about the land itself as in like it may be flooded or there may be soil erosion or pollution. And so that may affect how basically crops grow and that may lead to concerns about food security. So all of those are the themes for the next few years and that's associated with Neptunian difficult transits. And for uh, Pluto, Pluto uh, generally uh, rules things like m massive power, so massive power changes, power outages, changes in how power is, you know, um, generated and consumed, who is in power, who is the leader, how is the power, you know, changing hands. So for example, you know, when there were some significant transits of Pluto, for example, uh, we had like the death of the Saudi um, uh, Arabian king at 90 and then of course power has changed hands. That I believe was under the difficult transits from Pluto to the uh, moon nodes. So things like that and for the US it will experience a Pluto return uh, to its position in the natal chart but again at the same time for the US it will be also making a difficult um, uh, transit opposition to US's um, Mercury which has to do with things like communication, transportation, uh, also education. So those areas in particular may undergo serious changes, major transformations and um, uh, and again, things may not necessarily come through easily. There may be some, again, Pluto also rules like the underworld, uh, generally speaking, or under, I don't know, uh, things that are uh, buried. So th before things can be kind of cleaned up, there may be some things that are previously been hidden that may come up to the surface and uh, kind of revealed. And it could involve, again, actual scandals with maybe some officials and therefore they would have to be, I guess, replaced or it could literally involve things that have been buried, maybe some uh, something that pollutes and it, it has to be excavated and uh, buried, you know, maybe more securely somewhere else. So something, some sort of trash or some recycling or some mine or something that's basically like simmering under uh, the surface, um, which makes me think of this uh, situation in Pennsylvania caves, there's some simmering mine there, but that's a separate story. Uh, but basically anything to do with, uh, basically under similar aspects, what they had is, uh, in some previous instances, uh, is they will literally excavate some bodies or some uh, individuals that for some reason, uh, I guess they didn't like where they were buried and reburied them somewhere else. So those will be some examples just that are associated with difficult Pluto transits. And in the US chart, specifically Pluto is positioned in the second house that has to do with earnings, banks, financial circumstances, and those are the areas that may also specifically undergo uh, major changes. So from changes 
that have to do with you know how banks uh, do business to which banks actually are profitable or not or um, the value of course of the US dollar but also what is actually valuable so the uh, there may be even the change in sort of the value system to the point where things or places or real estate in certain areas uh, that previously was really valuable suddenly completely you know because Pluto is like this a uh, very uh, kind of a drastic planet changes value and vice versa places that perhaps didn't have a lot of value un until now suddenly there might be a real estate boom there and um, that will be again between right about now through uh, I'd say February of 2024 and some dates to mention and those are significant both for the US but also globally the dates where there might be some important events uh, from accidents to just important maybe like appointing of some important leader or leader uh, resigning or passing away or there being um, a strong earthquake or a strong basically um, situation that involves some impo important development that is significant again for the US but also globally and those uh, dates to know between now and early 2024 are um, plus minus one week around March 1st of 2022, plus minus one week around August 1st of 2022, then from about November of 2022 through mid-January of 2023, then plus minus a week or two around April 1st, 2023, uh, then pretty much the entire time from July to August of 2023 and then October and November of 2023. So those times again may particularly be confusing or difficult and um, also especially in July and August of 2023 and October and November of 2023 there may be um, increased news about like industrial accidents or things kind of escalating in terms of military um, I guess skirmishes but also perhaps even terrorist attacks uh, again this is just based on what happened previously under similar transits or as I mentioned uh, somebody who is in, uh, has been in the power long, for a long time passing away or just resigning and therefore again there's this power shift of some sort uh, or it could be some problems with literally providing power to large numbers of people, maybe like a power outage due to a severe uh, snowstorm, for example. And those dates to keep in mind within, like I said, uh, the for, for, this is for 2023, would be a few days, uh, plus minus a few days around July 31st, August 13th, August 21st, October 4th, and November 11th of 2023. Um, and so, of course, these are probably hard for you to immediately remember, uh, but uh, no worries, <laughs> you can check out my blog at lastunka.com and those days are listed there and I think I also list them in the description below so you can take them, uh, take a note in terms of like scheduling any important events, travel, or perhaps those are not the best days for, say, um, you know, incorporating a company or holding something that you want to be like a beginning of an auspicious uh, project. Um, so this week again should be a relatively uh, okay week except starting right about on Sunday and into next week things may become a little bit more difficult and uh, like I said the next week I think looks like it might be um, there might be a strong uh, drop uh, in the markets but that's next week. Until then I hope this week uh, you will enjoy and have a fantastic week and until then i'll catch you guys later bye